He says in his own words, it's on tape as part of this indictment that he did not declassify the material. Therefore, it is Dana, classified. Dana, saying he, saying he could have, saying he could have is not the same as saying he didn't. He, he said, said he, now he I can't. He has declassified this material. He said that meant... Now he can't, right, because right, he's not president now, but when he was Which president, means he that did it's declassify. Classified. He said that. Which means Which, that what he, he was holding was classified. No, not, not, not when he, not, not if he... <laughs> Not if he declassified it when he was president of the United States, for goodness sake. But he's sake. saying point Again, blank in this, this audio is, tape this that he did not declassify it. it, it what you're oh, saying God. just doesn't make sense on da, its da, face. This is, what, what, this, what this truly is, Dana, is, is, a, is an affront to the rule of law. As if our news cycle wasn't already the most mind-numbing charade of dishonesty and stupidity, we are now going to have to contend with the most ridiculous back and forths concerning the mishandling of classified documents for a long time to come. Jim Jordan found himself in quite the pickle trying to defend Donald Trump, who on a recording said that he had not properly declassified documents at the time, and now he quote, couldn't to which Jordan seems to be asserting that just because Trump said he didn't declassify the documents doesn't mean he didn't actually declassify the documents. Confused? Don't be. Trust me, trying to figure out the knots people like Jim Jordan continue to find themselves in is just not worth your time. I will say though that this is both the stupidest and the best defense of Trump. I mean, he is a liar and you can't trust anything he says even if he admitted to a crime. What other defense could they possibly use in this scenario, right? But of course, while it's an intriguing defense from the MAGA congressman, I'm not so sure that admitting to a crime but saying you lied about the admission is particularly credible in a court of law. Dana Bash went on to ask Jordan if he really believed that the president declassified the documents, found hilarious in his bathroom at Mar-a-Lago and the Ohio congressman said that quote, I go on the president's word and he said he did. So just to summarize, Jordan is trusting the former president's word but not the former president's word captured on that specific audio recording where he admits to failing to declassify the documents. As I said, it's a charade of dishonesty and stupidity and sheer ignorance from top to bottom. On that same recording, Trump is also heard saying that, quote, wouldn't it be better if we just told them we don't have anything here? In addition to musing that, quote, what happens if we just don't respond at all or don't play ball with them? This whole case is as if Trump is just asking, begging to be charged with a crime. He's so recklessly in his criminality that what does anyone, even his biggest supporters, really expect? And it's clear that the formal indictment is having little to no effect on his day-to-day -day life. Here's him this past weekend in prime Trump form, just adding fuel to this ridiculous fire. My only president ever! <laughs> I'm not sure if these people realize that they are the ones who are going to be shelling out their hard-earned cash for Trump's legal defense while he basically just spits in the face of the rule of law. He is able to laugh and joke with them because the joke is on his supporters who are so wrapped around his fingers that they would do anything to protect him even though he has no intention of protecting the rule of law for them. For more of my coverage on The Breakdown, check out my latest video on how MAGA youth are revealing the true impact of GOP strategy by clicking on the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.